everyone, it's Gidu. So in this video, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be doing a closer look at both the um, Zelda Twilight Princess Figma and the Link Twilight Princess Figma. So I know this pose isn't like super fancy. I was thinking of doing something different, but I was having a hard time choosing. And I kind of just wanted to hurry the heck up and get them posed so I could film this video and upload it and go to bed. <laughs> so... I'm gonna just do them together in the same video. I thought that'd be a little easier that way. I don't know, because they're already kind of posed together. Hopefully this will be faster. So as you can see, this is what Zelda looks like from the front. And it's hard to tell, but her dress actually has this, like, do you see how her um, glove here has like a pearlescent kind of shine to it? my little charm is hanging down uh it's really hard to show in video you can kind of see that blueness to the arm her entire dress is like that but the only thing i have to complain about the dress bit is that one side i'm actually going to just take her away from him so posing them is kind of retarded and this base is awful uh, it, like, the pegs do not fit properly in her back. And the same thing with Link. This peg does not fit nicely in his back at all. It's really frustrating. Um, one side of her skirt is... You can kind of see the pearlness of it there. One side of her skirt is glossy. It's hard to show. But the other side of her skirt has a more, like rougher matte texture. I don't know if you can tell. The details on all of this though is really nice. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, but one of them's matte and one of them's like shiny. And it's 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 a little odd. Um so I want to give you a close-up of her face. Her face is really nice and crisp and clean. I like it a lot. Uh, her little braid thingies in the front. Oh, one more thing I actually wanted to point out that they even did the details on. Oops, my arm is getting in the way. Is see all the symbols along her dress? I thought that was really cool. And it goes all the way to the back. And up. At first I thought it was like like branding writing. I wish it would focus. But it's not. They're just they're just little little symbols. And here's the back of her hair. Very nice. These guys are fairly hard to pose just because they have so many pieces to them. Um, and they look creepy as fuck without their hair. I mean, without their face plates, because their hair is, like, the base of their head, and it's weird. Uh, so that's what the sword looks like, or her rapier, or whatever the hell you want to call it. The armor on her shoulders. I just, I think this design of Zelda was my favorite. Um, I'm pro probably also Lee, also Lee, also Lee, yeah. Also partially biased to the fact that she's a brunette in this design. And, like, I'm a brunette. Other than that, there is one mark on her cheek there. You can see um, this little bit of plastic that wasn't cut off properly. I might try to scrape that off after, but I also don't want to wreck her. Uh, so I don't know how I'll deal with that. But yeah, I think she turned out fairly nice. Oh, and she's got very perky boobies. And because that's where the joint is, so they look kind of very perky. So let's just move her to the side and we'll take a look at Link. Again, I am a little sad that I didn't do any, um, something more dynamic for him. But I have a more dynamic pose going on for one of my other Links. So I'm not too worried about it. Plus, I just wanted him to pose with uh, Zelda. So this is his face. I'll put it in... It's hard to see in the light because I have him looking down. But also really crisp and clean. I like it a lot. And he was also definitely a darker blonde than other 
links in um, some of the other games. And then I've seen him as a brunette sometimes. So, whatever. But I enjoyed this link quite a bit. He's a little more simple than her, of course, because she has the entire dress and whatnot. Oh, and if I didn't mention before, uh, their swords, actually, how you get them on, you pop the hilt off. Um, sorry, I'll just do this quick rotation and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, you pop this handle piece off here. I, like, have no... So it pops up right there, right before his hand. I wish this would focus. There we go. Right here. And then this long bit pops off and you slide the hand on and then you just pop it back on and you have it attached. So this is what the sword looks like up close. And his gauntlets have nice detailing and his boots have nice detailing. As you can see, those knee fucking joints though, man. Jeez. Um, it's hard for me to show the, this here, because the, uh, shield is blocking it, but the shield is also quite nice. Lots of details. Um, there's a few bits on it that I noticed that aren't cut as smooth, so if you keep hearing a weird noise, it's my charm, it keeps hitting the side of my desk, it's dangling off my phone. As you can see, it's a little rough of a cut going on, like, down there which is a little irritating. And I see some of the color is a little discolored. And part of his hat is, I don't know if you can see that scuff. It's not like that there, there, that little dark spot. It's not a giant deal, but I'm like really picky. Uh, I love his hat, it's nice and long. It makes me happy. And the stitching details on his clothes look cool. Again, I don't think um, Figmas are at the same quality of some other figures, but I still like this. These ones turn out very nice. And his nice man titties going on right there. I was very impressed by them pecs, Link. Yep. Very impressed. And the stitching on the side of his hat. And his little earrings on his ears. And the little gold chain mail, I guess, going on there. I don't know if it was gold in the original or if I am crazy. I always thought it was silver, but. I don't remember. I haven't played the game in a really long time. But yeah, so that is these two. Oh, I guess I didn't really show his little bags. So as you can see, that's where his stand peg is. And there's a hole for the peg, and it's just really irritating. But I think it'll hold him up okay as long as I don't hit him. Uh... The details on his bags are really nice too. And just the chain mail on the sides. It looks good. It looks good. It's pretty cool for like a, a more toy like figure. Um, but same thing with her. They turned out better than I had expected. I am glad that I bought them. And her connector was right there. Oh god I'm knocking into things. Was right at the base of her or the bottom of her dress like right near her butt. You can see the stitching on the back of her dress there as well, and I didn't notice, but I guess the back of her dress is open. I mean, I noticed before, but I didn't um, notice in the game, I guess. I think they look really nice, and I would recommend them. I, I enjoy. I enjoy. I keep hitting her arm. But yeah, so I hope this video was in-depth enough. Um, I like how they turned out. And I guess I hope you guys did too, or if you didn't, let me know. Tell me your complaints. I'm always interested to hear other people's opinions. But yeah, so all my links in the description below for all my social media and the affiliate links where you can buy either figures like this or other figures um, from CD Japan and Tokyo Taco Mode. I get a small commission if you purchase through those links. So thank you very much for all of you who have purchased before. It helps me a lot. It goes towards buying more of this stuff to review. Um, and... And yeah, so so I'll see you all in the next video. Sorry for that little cut. Somebody called me while I was filming. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye!